welcome back to Movie Review Mom. Thank you always for your support by subscribing and watching my videos. I really appreciate that. And if you're brand new here, yay, you found me. I'm so glad. I hope that you like what you see and that you subscribe and come back. So my goal is to give you the heads up on filmmaking quality and content so that you can make the best decision for you and your family as to whether or not you want to spend time or money or both watching a specific movie. So the specific movie I'm reviewing today is called Tyler Perry's a Medea Homecoming. This new installment in the Medea franchise is now available on Netflix. It's rated TVMA, which really translates as rated R. And this is actually the very first rated R Medea movie. And it is definitely rated R. It's an hour and 45 minutes. I'm going to give you an overview in a nutshell, and then I'll point out things I liked and didn't like and offer tips for parents, themes worth talking about, some movie lines, and even some recommendations for some other movies I think you might also like. Okay, let's dive in. In a nutshell, Tyler Perry wrote, directed, and starred in this silly family feud. Medea's back. Hallelujah. And she's not putting up with any nonsense as the family drama erupts at her great grandson's college graduation celebration. This is the 12th edition to the Medea franchise. And if you love Medea, this is more of the same. If you don't like her or don't even know who she is, I think you should definitely skip this one. It is not uh, the best one out of all of Tyler Perry's Medea films. Um, and some people say he needs to stop because they're just getting lower quality. So let me tell you first, before we get into all of that, some of the things that I liked about the movie. First of all, Tyler Perry said that he was going to retire the Medea character, but he loves her too much to say goodbye. And he does a really good job playing her. She's this goofy, fast talking matriarch who definitely say, says her mind loves her family, um, and is pretty cray-cray. <laughs> Comedian Brendan O'Carroll matches Tyler Perry's gender-swapping role as the funny Agnes Brown, and I love seeing the two of them play off of each other. I thought it was a really fun idea. There are a lot of lines that are references to Beyonce songs. Tyler Perry clearly adores Beyonce, the title is even a play on Beyonce's Coachella show that she called Homecoming. And in fact, if you keep watching during the rolling credits at the end of the movie, you get to see a, mu a musical number in honor of guess who? Beyonce, of course. There are a couple of big reveals that provide plenty of conversations for all of the characters to work through. And in some of those conversations, Medea actually shares some really good wisdom about love and marriage. There are a few creative transitions, but generally the film is inconsistent in its creative filmmaking. It's pretty straightforward and just silly and goofy. So that brings me into the things that I didn't like about this movie. The humor is just over the top, slapstick, vulgar, and very low brow. The story is all over the place, and there are some surprisingly bad acting moments. The dialogue is just really dumb, and the script is just very messy, and there are some moments where I was like, okay, we got a really good dialogue going with some good um, pacing, and the, some of the jokes fire fast and furiously, but a lot of the jokes just didn't land at all for me. And the pacing then is inconsistent throughout because it kind of veers off in different directions. The characters generally are one note and one dimensional. And I know that some of them have been in multiple movies. And so maybe there is an intentional design, uh, but there's not a ton of character growth. There is some character growth, and that's one thing that I always look for in a good story. Now, let me give you some tips for parents. I mentioned this is rated R, and it's mostly because there is tons of profanity, including the N-word and other racial slurs and lots of really crude comments. 
There's talk and consumption of weed. Medea has and uses several firearms. There's talk of homosexuality, lots of political jokes that kids won't understand, negative talk about the police, woke humor, and even some violence as some fisticuffs breaks out. Uh, some of the themes that are illustrated well are family, education, and the importance of education, talk of defunding the police, disrespect, unconditional love, divorce, sacrifice for others, closed minds, and secrets. Now, I always write down funny lines and interesting lines, and I love to share them with you so you can kind of get a taste of what the movie feels like. And I have them all on my written review at moviereviewmom.com, so you can go over there and check those out. Uh, but I'll share just a couple of them with you here right now. So there's one conversation where Tyler Perry, Medea, is talking to Laura, played by Gabrielle Dennis. And she's, he's giving her some good advice. And this is one of those moments where I was like, wow, okay, there's some depth to her. She's sharing some precious little golden nuggets of wisdom. Anyway, and so Laura says to him, you're so wise. And he says, I know, or Medea says, I know, it's the weed. <laughs> and then they have a few other thing comments, and then the weed comes up again. And anyway, there's lots of weed in this movie. And then there are some interesting lines and related to love and marriage and all of that. And again, Medea says, sometimes you got to take a chance on love. Love is worth it. Love is worth fighting for. And there are more profound things that she says, but I just wrote those down really quickly. She speaks very quickly. And so I was like, wait, what'd she say? And so I had to write it down fast. All right, so my overall movie review mom grade is a C. Now, I absolutely know that there will be some people that think this movie is hilarious. It's just not my favorite type of humor, the whole slapstick kind of over the top thing. Um, but some people will really get a kick out of that. It's pretty straightforward. Again, no cutting edge stuff here, but um, Medea fans, We'll just be thrilled that there's another Medea movie. All right, so my recommendations happen to be Medea movies. <laughs> so I don't know if you've seen any of them before. I could just say watch all the Medea movies and you'll probably have a favorite. Um, there's one called Tyler Perry's Medea's Witness Protection and then Medea's Family Reunion. And of course, many, many more Tyler Perry Medea movies. So take your pick. In fact, I would love for you to comment down below what is your favorite Medea movie if you have one. Thank you so much again for spending a few minutes with me. I hope that if you watch this movie, you get a kick out of it, that you laugh, and that ultimately it'll cause you to hug your family and love them a little bit more. All right, have a fantastic rest of your day, and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye for now. Yeah.